Justin Gatlin, the world 100 meters champion, is at the center of a new doping scandal after members of his team offered to illicitly supply performance-enhancing drugs. Gatlin and his entourage are now being investigated by sports and doping authorities after an investigation by the London Telegraph uncovered how members of his team offered to provide prescriptions in a false name and smuggle the substances to the United States. Undercover reporters visited Gatlin's Florida training camp where his coach and an athletics agent offered to supply and administer testosterone and human growth hormone for an actor training for a film. The products were to be provided via a doctor in Austria. The total fee for the project was to be dollars $250,000. The coach, the former Olympic gold medalist Dennis Mitchell, and the agent, Robert Wagner, were also secretly recorded claiming that the use of banned substances in athletics was still widespread as they described how positive doping tests could be avoided. In one meeting, the agent claimed that Gatlin had himself been taking performance, enhancing drugs, which the sprinter has strenuously denied. Gatlin's legal representatives announced that he had sacked his coach and revealed more than five years' worth of official drugs tests to show he has never tested positive for any banned substance. Gatlin's agent for the last 14 years, Renaldo Niemeyer, said that Wagner had worked for Gatlin on no more than two or three occasions and that the sprinter was not present when banned substances were discussed with either the agent or coach. The revelations threatened to reignite the scandal of drugs in sport just three years after Russia was said to have systematically doped their athletes. Gatlin himself has twice been banned for doping, in 2001 and 2006. The Athletics Integrity Unit, AIU, which was set up by the International Association of Athletics Federations, IAAF, mid-year, and the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency, said they had opened an investigation into the sprinter, the agent and the coach after being made aware of the investigation. A spokesman for the AIU said that the IAAF's code of conduct applied to both athletes and their support personnel and that designer drugs had always been a challenge. A spokesman for the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency said, investigations stemming from tips and whistleblowers play a critical role in anti-doping efforts. We are presently coordinating with the Athletics Integrity Unit in order to investigate these claims fully. Lord Coe, the IAAF president, said, these allegations are extremely serious and I know the Independent Athletics Integrity Unit will investigate in accordance with its mandate. Gatlin beat Usae Bolt at the world record holder's final 100 metres race at the World Championships in London this year. Gatlin was booed by the crowd, with some commentators unhappy that he was allowed to compete. The newspaper investigation began in July after being told that specific agents and trainers were involved in administering and supplying drugs to athletes and that the regulators had failed to take action. One of the individuals identified was Wagner who boasted he had represented some of the biggest names in the sport, including Ben Johnson, the Canadian sprinter stripped of his 1988 Olympic gold for doping, and high-profile British athletes including Colin Jackson and Denise Lewis.